the normalized load impedance is little zl, which is capital ZL over Z0, which is also zero. Now for step two, we want to plot this value on the Smith chart. In other words, we want to draw a dot representing this load impedance of zero. As a result, the dot should be at the intersection uh, of the RL equals zero circle and the XL equals zero arc. Well, and in this case, uh, when there's an imaginary component, you will have an arc. But uh, when you, all the real numbers, let's do this one first. All the real numbers for x are along the horizontal line. So that's the only time you're actually not going to see an arc, is right, uh, right along the horizontal line where you have x is equal to a real number. And x equals 0 is right on the left-hand side. So that alone helps us actually know where the dot goes. But then also, we can look at, in, the, in general, you'll have to also know where the real circle uh, is that we want to be using. And the uh, RL equals zero circle, there's two scales on the outside, so we're not going to plot, and we're never going to put your impedance dot anywhere in those scales. But the RL equals zero circle goes right along the outside, and you'll see right here, it also goes through that XL equals zero dot. So this is where it intersects the real horizontal uh, line where all the real XLs are, and it's XL equals zero is right at that dot. So we put our impedance dot at the intersection. Well, it's right at the X equals zero spot, and our, it's also on the R equals zero circle as shown here. For step three, we want to rotate the impedance dot we just marked, and we want to rotate it down the transmission line, which corresponds to a circle of constant radius centered at the center of the Smith chart. So whenever you're rotating, I've seen lots of different kinds of rotations that are incorrect. You always want to rotate around this dot right in the middle, along a constant radius. So we're going to use the wavelengths towards the generator scale since we plotted the load impedance, ZL. So now we're traveling down the transmission line towards the generator. Note that in this particular example, we rotate along the R equals zero circle, which is already drawn for you. In general, we're not going to be rotating along a circle that's already on the Smith chart. And uh, so you'll have to draw your own. The center of rotation, though, is always right here in the middle. Let's read off the Smith chart, how the impedance changes as we move towards the generator and rotate around the Smith chart. How does ZL, or how does Z in, as we rotate we're going to have Z in, how does Z in change as we rotate towards the generator? <laughs> 